Time to play with some clay. Well, I thought I'd try putting the feathers on at least first three feathers and see how they look. Too bad. Now, for the rest of them, I'm going to have to put them on a uh, cloth that's going to drape down across his back and down around here and up in front. So before I can do that, <clears throat> I'm going to have to do a few things. Now I've only got the first 10 feathers out of the 33 done. But uh, I just figured I'd go ahead and start mounting them as soon as I can. So I'm going to have to uh, get this body to a point where I'm happy with it. What I'm trying to do is get my clay ready to roll out through my uh, pasta machine. Okay, hmm. this clay, I mean this rolling pin is an old table leg that I cut and uh, it works fine. All right, I'm gonna put this through the uh, pasta machine. cut one out a while back and it's I've got to make this a thick piece of uh, cloth can't be thin First part of this is going to be against his back. So this will be thinner than what I have had. And I'm going to put it uh, up here. Just like that. And uh, I'm going to 
fill in underneath the uh, cloth. It's got to be castable, and the only way to make it castable is to fill in underneath. This is not going to be an easy casting job at all. What I'm doing is I'm preparing the uh, loincloth. This is where I'm using two different kinds of clay. One's a little darker than the other. It's a different brand of clay, but it's the same consistency, so it all works. putting form to the uh, clay. some of the clay so that uh, it'll fit around the rocks. I 
All right, I've got the uh, character of this uh, bronze uh, or this clay. I got the uh, loincloth that touches the uh, rock back here, which makes it easier for them to cast. All they got to do is cut the loincloth there and cast that separate. Uh, the loincloth, I'm going to fill in underneath here between the legs and the groin and just flatten that out so that it'll be easy for them to cast. Uh, and take it right back to the back leg. Uh, they're going to probably cut the uh, loincloth right there and cast this part separate and then weld it on. I put a belt on them, a nice sheath on them, and I'll explain the nice sheath later. Uh, but I just wanted to get this to the point where uh, I can see how it's going to come out looking, and uh, I'm, I'm liking it right now. I am going to redo these horns. They're a little too big. I want to do them smaller uh, because I've, the horns that I've seen on the hair, headdresses are about one-third smaller than what I've got on this headdress. But other than that, uh, I'm going to redo the uh, cloth that holds all the feathers. I've got to do that uh, and make it a little bit longer. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.